Here we are guys, back again with another Skyrim episode, and today we are going to do Darkness Returns. So we're trying to um, return the Skeleton's Key, and what we have to do is follow the Pilgrim's Path. So guys, let's go ahead and get right into this episode. Hope you guys are enjoying the series as well, and um, hopefully we will not have too much trouble following the Pilgrim's Path. Oh, oh, there's some enemy right here. We got a killer. Okay, uh, do they have some loot? No. Okay. There's a guy up there. Okay. You tried to kill me first. Alright, so we got that done with. Let's go ahead and take this loot. Anything? No. Okay, um. Let's go down here again. See what we gotta do. Is there anything? No, okay. So let's just keep going through this doorway, guys. Here we go. Another place with this Nightingale Sentinel. Ooh, we got a kill cam. Alright. Okay, so what we have to do now, guys, is the instructions for this place is you can't go in the light you have to stay in the darkness or or else you will die so we have to keep going in the dark in order to uh stay alive so those are the rules oh gosh that's not good there's some booby traps as well oh gosh when are these gonna stop okay we just have to stay in the dark and we'll be okay if we go in the light, we will die. So, so far it's looking good. Staying alive. Oh, look at that light. Another trap. Why is there another trap? All right, I have to go down these stairs. There's so many traps, guys. Goodness. All right, so we finally made it. That wasn't too bad. We're still going. I'm glad we made it without dying. Here's a chest. Some gold. Alright, so we made that. Okay, so now there's this bandit here. And there's this shrine. I don't know who that is, but... I guess we have to do something here. We have to pull this chain. I think this will come up, right? No? Where do we have to go now? Because I pulled that chain, and I feel like something uh, went up for us to go into, but I'm not sure what. So, I have no idea what to do. Ah. Uh, ah, oh man. This is, this is kind of strange. What the heck do we have to do here? Oh man, is there, is there anything that would help us find out what we have to do or what? Because I just see a wall right here behind. I don't know how the heck to do this. Do we have to pull the chain again or what? Oh, there's another chain, my bad guys. Now, now we did it. There was two chains, my bad guys. But we're getting on with this. We're still going. Oh, booby traps. We made it through. Pretty easy. Still going. Oh, okay then. That was pretty rough. All right, so there's another door right there, but let's just see where this leads. Actually, let's open that door first because I have no idea what that goes to. Oh, that's the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that's the wrong way. Actually, I don't know. I, I have no idea, actually. Why, why not just go here? Because, why not? I think maybe this is the right way. But I have no idea. So let's just keep going. Okay, oh, 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 that's just great. I think I just went the wrong way, that is... Oh man, 
Was this the wrong way or what? There's a guy named Anders. He has a note. Let's go ahead and read that. Hopefully we can get out of here. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all of those ridiculous riddles, just to end up here. After I memorized nice Nystrom's clues he'd collected from Lithilus, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Well, he died. Uh, I don't know where to go now. I guess I'll just have to... Oh, 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 what is this? What the heck? What is happening? Oh, whoa, okay. So we did it. That wasn't bad. Um, that was confusing, but I'm glad that that happened. I think you had to have the skeleton key to get through that. And that's why that guy died. But yeah, let's go ahead and replace skeleton key um, on this thing. Let's do it. Oh, there's Nocturnal. I think that was the Shrine of Nocturnal that we saw a little bit before. Um, what do we have here? It's been a number of years since I've set foot on your world, or perhaps it's been moments one tends to lose track. So, once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the Sepulchre. Yes, you're welcome. Now that the Ebonir has been restored, you stand before me awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. <laughs> what the heck? What you fail to realize is your actions were expected and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Okay. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. That's not true. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonir mortal. Drink? For this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. Okay, I'm gonna be an agent of Nocturnal, the probably. Has struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Ebonir. Farewell. Whoa. Yes, it wasn't my mistake. Oh, Carla is right here. Let's talk to her. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with you. How'd she even get here? I thought she couldn't come with me. Pleased, she sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. So she's not a very happy person. mother continually pushing you harder to be successful. Outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? I guess I'm gonna become one. The circles at the base of the Ebonir imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The crescent moon represents the agent of Shadow, the half moon for the agent of Subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a nightingale begins. Okay. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. Got you. And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. Good. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. Yeah. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Crime spree? There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches. Oh, you really want to steal some stuff now. We may Dang. But in our hearts, we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. Right, right. 
Okay, so now we have to choose a nightingale roll. So I, I think I just did one. Yeah, I just I just chose one on accident. I hope I hope that was a good one. Dang. What what do I do now? Oh, there's Gallus. That's cool. I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the ship. He's a ghost. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gallus. Wow. Right, is he gonna leave? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that was it for this quest, guys. Um, we finished that quest. Now, I don't know where to go, actually. Uh, you must wait a full day before... What? Um, and on accident, I hope I didn't choose a bad uh, role, but on accident... I chose one, so hopefully it was a good thing. I don't even know what the heck it's supposed to do, though. But, um, I guess she came through this portal. She should have just gone with me. But, yeah, now we're gonna go back to the entrance. Let's go ahead and do that. But, yeah, that was pretty cool, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, gosh, am I gonna die? No, I think I'm good. I thought that, like, maybe the lights would kill me, but this is not the place where that would happen. So... Now we're okay, guys. We finally made it out of there. And we returned the skeleton key. And then we became a nocturnal agent. So that's pretty cool. We're going back to Skyrim. And uh, we're going to do a different quest now. Since we uh, completed that whole quest. But that was pretty fun, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, now let me see what we should do now. Because there's some cool quests we could always do. Let's go ahead and see. So... We should probably either do, um, hmm. We should probably either do Dragonborn, which is, uh, where you, uh, defeat Murak, which is a pretty awesome quest, or First Lessons, and you can go to the, you can, uh, join the College of Winterhold and do some stuff there. I don't know which one I'm gonna do, but first of all, let's just go ahead and, uh, wait to daytime. But yeah, that was a pretty fun quest, guys. And now we've completed the main quest and we've completed um, the Thieves Guild quest. But uh, I, I also just want to see what we're going to do now in the Thieves Guild. I want to see what's happening in the Thieves Guild, if there's anything I can do to help. Let's just go ahead and travel there. Because I'm interested. But yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, Go to the Thieves Guild and talk to some people, maybe Brynjolf. But yeah. Let's go. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. This was a pretty cool episode because we finished off all the what we needed to do. Is there anyone we can talk to? Oh, here it is. Here's Brynjolf. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. Yes, sir. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? Gave it back to the sepulchre. That's it, then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. Yes, sir. So, where will you be now? I'll be down here. Trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex. To make sure the coin keeps flowing and no one skims. Yeah. If you still feel like doing some jobs, I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. Okay. So. Yes, lad. 
Did you need something? So that's basically it for these guild. Um, there's some other jobs he said that you could do for uh, Delvin. I don't know where he is though. Uh, who's this guy? Oh, that's Brunel. Who's the guy? Who's the other guy? I saw someone else. Who's this? Okay. Need something? Who's that? Okay, so. Oh yeah, here's the safe where all of these chests are opened. That's just sad. Let's go back. And um, I'm going to go to the main Ragged Flagon and see what's popping over there because I'm now the leader of the Thieves Guild, which is pretty awesome. Who's this guy? Hey, let's, let's talk, talk a second. second. No, that's Come fine. Back and see me. I don't need to go there. Uh, where should I go? Um, okay, so let's go to the ragged flagon. Here's the ragged flagon. Let's go. Let's just talk to Delvin and see what he wants us to do. Maybe we won't do it, but I just want to see what he wants us to do for future reference so that we can do that whenever we feel the need to. Here's Delvin. Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street. Dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? You're you're way behind the timeline, buddy. I'm the leader of the thieves guild now. Come on now. Um, I know what I'm doing. I'm the leader of the thieves guild now, buddy. Lied to my face isn't gonna win you any favors. I am the leader of the thieves guild. What are you talking about? On the other end, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands. Now that'll get you to the top of my list. I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? I thought it's already back on its feet now. Look around you. The flag, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What's happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is pissed drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. <laughs> what? A curse, what can we do about it? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, we can tell him about how we recovered an we recovered both of the eyes of the farmer when we captured Mercer Frey. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen across any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. This alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. Oh yeah, baby. We got 1,600 gold. And, uh... I heard, let's see what he's got us to work for. I had all the fishing, numbers, and bedlam jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breaking's a more your thing, go talk to Vex. Okay, so we don't need to do that. But, um... He's pretty cool. Extra work. Here's the, um, uh, janitor. And I think we're good here now. I think we don't need to do anything else. But, um, that was pretty cool. Um, so, it's, it's a tough decision, it's a tough de decision, decision, oh my god, decision, okay, I finally said it right, it's a tough decision for me to, between choosing Dragonborn Quest and First Lessons, so, it's, it's gonna be tough to de decide, because they're both really awesome quests, and, uh, yeah, but I feel like I should do... I feel like I should do the 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 smaller type of quest 
before the bigger one. So we should probably do first lessons first before Dragonborn. Because I feel like we can do Dragonborn once we have reached a high level. Because I, I'm telling you right now, Dragonborn quest, defeating Mirak is a hard, hard quest. And it takes a long time. So I bet you once I get higher levels, it'll be a lot better and easier for me. So let's just go ahead and do first lessons first and then after we do a lot of other quests we can do dragonborn but um i hope you guys uh don't mind that decision i made but i think it's for the best and let's just see what we have to go do up at the college of winterhold guys this is going to be a a very fun quest because you get to learn about a lot of magic and you also get to um go down in this like big cave i think i forget what you really do but it's pretty fun but we probably won't do much this first um this first episode we started because we've already done a lot this episode. So we're probably gonna end it off in like maybe fifteen minutes, something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. So we're here now. We're going to the entrance and uh let's see what we have to do. We're going to learn our first lessons at the College of Winterhold. We finally uh, officially became a member. Let's do it. Welcome. I was told to come see you. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. No, I think I, I'll give you a brief I think I like my current clothes better. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Okay. So, uh Hmm. I'd love to have a look around. Wonderful. Please follow me and don't wander off. Okay. Winterhold has been a fixture in Skyrim for thousands. So we're taking a tour now. The prominent feature here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures. Here's the Hall of the Elements. And general meetings. The Arcanium is located above the hall, and the That's the uh, library. That. While technically in charge of the college, the Archmage's responsibilities often keep him occupied. Thus, I run the day-to-day -day operations. Now, if you'll please follow me, I'll show you the living quarters. Sure. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry procedures due to some problems with the local Nords. Oh, we what's happening? We don't anticipate any real violence, but it never hurts to be prepared. Okay, so she walks pretty slow, but we're just gonna see where our living quarters are, and then hopefully we'll take some first few lessons from the uh, mage. That are that is teaching us. It'll be pretty fun. Yeah, the College of Winterhold quest is pretty fun, guys. Let me tell you, I'm not lying. Like it's it's a very Our awesome quest. Are here in the Hall of Attainment. I'll ask that you please keep your voice down while inside, as others may be working on research or delicate experiments. Sure. All right, let's get inside here. The Hall of Attainment. After I finish showing you the grounds, we can talk. Okay. Now I'll show you to your quarters. You're going to be sharing space with your fellow apprentices, who you'll meet shortly. Cool. This is where you'll be staying. This nice. For yours. Please try and Go ahead and take that. Place. There's now, three skulls here. That's a little room. scary. Let's take that gold. And, most of the members gather for lectures and, and uh... Sessions. More gold. See here. Gold. Nice. Anything here? Gold. Nice. Ooh, that those clothes look awesome. That actually looks awesome. Let's go ahead and take that. Looks pretty nice. It looks like King's clothes. Uh let's follow her. Oh crap, she she abandoned us. But yeah, that's our living quarters where we sleep. Um <laughs> uh when I was in the college of winter old on my old account, I never used to really do any. Like, I I usually never even sleep there because like you don't really have to, and I usually never go in that building because be I just follow quests. One of our most esteemed wizards. Okay, yeah, that's the guy who's going to be teaching us the uh, first lessons that we have to learn about uh, magic. Are you going to go faster or what? Can I push you, please? Push, push. Alright, I guess not. 
Look at that. Looks pretty nice. Look at that blue light. Go on in, and if you have any problems, let one of our senior members know. Okay, got you. Now we're going to go to the Hall of the Elements and uh, listen to Tolf Deer. And he's probably going to teach us some new stuff. This is going to be fun, guys. Let's do it. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Please, stay in the Here's some people. So, as I was saying... The first thing to understand is that magic is by its very This guy is going to be a very big part in our future quest, just to let you know. Just a little spoiler. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear, of course. You all certainly possess some inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control. Mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice and study. And what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. But we've only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Dang, they're mad. It's a chance to show you what we can do. You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? I mean, why not, uh, why not listen to the teacher? Because, like, I feel like he's a lot more wiser than we are because uh, he's done a lot more stuff than we have. So why not listen to him? Safety should be more important than anything right now. Well, your classmates certainly seem to disagree with you. Whatever. Don't listen to him. We can do it. <laughs> Give us a chance. All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. All right, let's do it. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells. Right. Okay, sure. Would you mind helping me with a demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? I don't know any ward spells. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward. One that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Now, if you just stand sure. right over there, I'll cast a spell. We got the lesser ward. Block it with the ward. Here we go. Let me equip that for a sec. Lesser ward. Here we go. All right. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Sure. Now. Cast the ward spell and keep it up. Okay. You have to keep your ward up or else this won't work. I don't want to hurt you. Yes, don't worry. Over there, please. Just opposite me. What do you mean over there? What are you talking about? Am I supposed to be right here? I have many important Oh yeah, I was standing there. Excellent work. Okay, we're good. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps... Let's uh, go ahead and go back and uh, equip our weapon again. Uh, Dwarven Warhammer. We're ready to begin. And, yeah, okay. ...some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sawthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. Okay. So we did it. We completed our first lessons of the college. And now we started under Sarthal. So. We have to meet Tolfdeer outside Sarthal. Which is a uh, little place where uh, there's a lot of old and ancient type things. And it's really cool. And it's a huge cave and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and go there. Uh, let's just see where it is. Because I want to see. Okay, so it's right here. Here's Sarthal. Hopefully we can fast travel. Oh, we have not. Ah, that's just great. Um, why not just go to um, Alftand? Why not? Just go there. And then we can travel. 
I wish we would have discovered that. But it's all good. Let's keep going. So, after after we get there, we're probably going to end off the episode because I don't want this episode to be too long, you know. But it's been pretty fun. And uh, we returned the skeleton key. <coughs> Ice race, buddy. Alright, so, looks pretty nice outside, and, uh, probably gonna get there soon. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I think this is our 20, um, either third or fourth. Oh, gosh. This is not good. We have to go somewhere else to get down, because I do not want to kill myself, you know. Okay, so that was good, that was good. Wasn't too bad. There's still a huge place over here, though. And lots of spiders. A giant one. That's just great. But we're almost there now, so I'm glad about that. We lost our stamina. That's not good. Okay, so we made it. I'm pretty sure we made it, right? Isn't this the place? Yeah, this is Sartle. We made it. And we just have to wait here for the college uh, professor and student. Where are they? Let's just wait here for a while. Why not? Because maybe they're coming soon. <laughs> I hope they're gonna be here. No. Oh, they're here. here they are. Okay, that was a jump scare. Let's actually go a little bit lighter outside. All right, now we're good. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. You already know. All right, let's follow him into this cave. It's going to be pretty cool. It's an excavation. Excavation. Let's go. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of this and then end it off. Uh, why not? Just do a little bit. Oh my gosh, can you stop? Can you go, can you get out of the way so I can follow him? Look at this place, looks pretty cool. We have to walk down these stairs. This is an exciting opportunity for us. Well, are there well I didn't, I didn't want to do anything. Well, are there any questions before we begin? Oh, oh, oh. I don't have any more questions. What would you like me to do? Ah, uh, yes. Mm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now, let's see. Okay. Um, so, our next thing to do is find a guy named Arniel Gain. That's our next next little quest we have to do. And we're starting under Sarthal. So, hope you guys enjoyed. We're going to end it off right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.